Hello and welcome everyone. Now today's tutorial will show how to use the .NET Core command line interface to create an ASP.NET Core web app. You will learn how to create a web app project, enable local HTTPS, run the app and finally edit a razor page. As a prerequisite, you need to install the .NET Core 2.1 SDK or later. Now, once the application is built, it will displayed. It will be displayed as per this um, screenshot. So we've got home about contact links, and um, it's currently on the home page, and it's showing all these paragraphs. So let's do it. So first of all, we'll bring the command line. So I've got it already on the G drive. I'll make a directory asp.net underscore core and then change it to that directory right and then after that I'll have this following command .NET new web app is a switch minus O is net core app so this will actually this has created the ASP.NET Core web app successfully and it is restoring the package from the appropriate places so restore has succeeded next I'll have to give another command to enable the local HTTPS that is hypertext transfer protocol secure so these days we are working on the HTTPS so dev Search HTTPS hyphen hyphen trust to install the trust certificate. So it says that a valid HTTPS certificate is already present. That's fine. So finally, we'll run this command. We'll change directory to the newly created directory ASP.NET core app and then .NET run. giving me something now listening on these ports now listening on another post localhost 5000 application started press ctrl plus c to shut down right i have got this application working here which looks like this Now the next thing is, I will edit that razor, so that's on my local volume G, I will just get it in the ascending or descending order, so the newest directory that I had made through the command line is this, asp.net underscore score and then asp.net core app. And within this pages directory, when I open it, and I would like to now modify it about dot CSHTML page. This is CSHTML file, so I will just open it in say brackets or anything. You could just open it with Visual Studio, Visual Studio 2017. Let it open.
and here I will just change this message to look something like this hello world date time so you have got the intelligence with the razor that's it just save it and get to the browser and look into my about page So the change is reflected here. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please click on like and put your comments and subscribe. Thanks very much.